I think the best investors are operators and the best operators are investors. And so if you think about what is an operator's job, CEO, that's CEO is not a great job because you've got a board that's saying we've got all these investors we, you know, we've all picked this goal, CEO, go do it. And then the CEO's job is like, well, I got to figure out, you know, who are the people that are going to do it? How much money do I need to do it? Do I have the resources to achieve the goal that I have single-handedly been asked to deliver to the board? So the CEO being the operator in this story, the reason why I think, you know, the best operator you know, is an investor is because they are now tasked with for the smallest amount of resources, delivering the biggest possible outcome. And I like to think that a lot of people underestimate that companies are making investment decisions at every level of their income statement and cash flow. So people that they're hiring, the sizes of that certain teams are getting, uh, the benefits packages that they're, they're, they're sending out for employees, their brand advertising versus their uh, performance advertising budgets. Those are all investments. And, you know, they're making ROI decisions at every step of the game in any place that the company is outlying in expense or, or cash. And then on the reverse of that, saying, you know, the best in investors are actually operators. I think you'll hear this from, especially within the VC community, because in the VC community, the job is how many deals did we actually see that got done? And how many of those do we participate in? That is an operator's job. That is an operator problem of how do we construct this business in such a way to see all of those deals? And then do we have enough capital or do we have the team that is actually able to sneak our way in to participate in it? And at a bigger level, you know, I use the Buffett, I use the Malone examples, is they have built these enormous businesses around this thing that is an investment business. And Warren has done it in his way with a single entity, Berkshire, Malone has done it with this incredibly complicated constellation of tracking stocks and you know his way. I think if the ETF existed many, many years ago, John Malone might just manage a single ETF because the ETF allows you to move between your businesses without forcing that tax incidence immediately on people today. So I'm getting away from it, but it's investors that build a process because you know, oftentimes people, investors are like, what's your biggest idea? What's your biggest conviction? And the best investors are like, that is not the thing that is going to result in me delivering a better than index return for you reliably over time. I will beat the S&P 500 for you over time because we hire well, we have our investment criteria, everyone follows the plan. When stocks go down, we review the security. When they go up, we review the opportunity. And they have a very defined process around how they manage money. And that's repeatable and scalable. And <sighs> that's what I'd say. I'd love